Okay, you know how to power up the machine, you know how to home it out, jog it around, and even get around in the menus a little bit. So let's start making our part. The Centroid control runs on industry standard G-code. And what's great about the Centroid is you don't have to know G-codes to both operate and program the machine. It's all completely menu driven with lots of graphics and help screens and fully commented with English throughout. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break down making any part into six easy to follow steps. If you follow making your part in this order of these six steps, you're going to have a high degree of success. The steps are, number one, determine where your X, Y, Z row position is going to be for your part. Number two, figure out what type and size of tools you're going to need to manufacture this part. Number three, get those tools in tool holders, load them up in the machine, and get the height and diameter offset values set up in the tool library. Number four, go program that part. Number five, get your visor fixture up on the table and get your XYZ zero position set with that visor fixture. And number six, of course, is actually machining the part. Here's the print for the part that we're going to make. And remember, the first step of the process is to determine where on this part are we going to call X, Y, Z, zero. That's step number one. So before you do anything, right now decide by looking at the print where you're going to make your part zero position. So for this particular print, Z0 is pretty easy. Most of the time it's going to be the same on all your parts. It's going to be the top of your stock. So that's one out of the way. Where are we going to call X and Y0 for this particular part? Sometimes there's better places than others to choose an XY0 point. Sometimes it solely depends on the way the print is drawn. If all the dimensions are based off a certain point on the print, it might be advantageous to pick that point as your XY0 position that way you don't have to add and subtract a whole bunch of numbers to find out the XY coordinates of the various features on the print. Well, in this case, it looks like a pretty good spot to pick is the center of this circular pocket. A big reason for that is I made up ahead of time a fixture to hold the stock for this particular part. As you can see, I got two clamps on the outside, but what you don't see is a plate underneath here is drilled and tapped so that when I drill this bolt hole circle, I can then bolt this piece of stock to this plate and remove the clamps so I can machine the perimeter of this part. So we're going to pick X, Y, Z, zero being at the center location of this print and Z being the top of my stock. That's step number one. 